Right now, invisible chemicals called PFAS are hiding in your blood, your food, and even your rainwater. They're nicknamed forever chemicals because once they're here, they never go away. And there's a real chance they're silently harming you, your family, and our planet. So what exactly are PFAS? And most importantly, what can you do about them? PFAS, or forever chemicals, are synthetic substances made of incredibly tough chemical bonds that resist heat, water, and stains. They're in non-stick pans, waterproof jackets, food wrappers, even firefighting foam. But the same things making these chemicals useful are causing serious concerns for our health and environment, because PFAS never truly break down. In this video, we'll quickly cover how PFAS got here, clearly explain why they're a threat, dive deep into how they're impacting our bodies and environment, explore why it's taking so long to regulate them, and finally, share practical steps you can take right now to protect yourself and your family. The story of PFAS begins back in 1938 with a young chemist named Roy Plunkett. While experimenting at a DuPont lab, he accidentally created a slippery, nearly indestructible substance. This accidental discovery was named Teflon. People quickly fell in love with Teflon's magical qualities. It was non-stick, waterproof, and incredibly durable. DuPont started mass producing it, and soon Teflon was everywhere. In kitchens, on clothing, carpets, even space suits. But beneath the success, few realized this miracle material had a hidden cost. One we're still paying today. So, what makes PFAS chemicals so unique and so concerning? Well, it all comes down to chemistry. Let's break it down simply. Imagine tiny building blocks called atoms. PFAS molecules are mostly chains of carbon atoms, tightly bonded to fluorine atoms. These carbon-fluorine bonds are among the strongest ever discovered. Think of them like ultra-powerful magnets that almost nothing can pull apart. Because these bonds are so strong, PFAS don't break down easily. They resist water, heat, oil, even chemicals. That's why manufacturers love using them in products. Non-stick pans don't burn, jackets stay waterproof, and stains just slide off carpets. But here's the problem. These same miracle qualities mean PFAs don't degrade in nature either. They stick around for decades, even centuries. So once these chemicals enter our environment, our bodies and our water supply, they stay there, accumulating little by little over time. Scientists call them forever chemicals for a reason. Their incredible durability has made life convenient but it's also why they've become a major challenge for our health and planet. You might be thinking, do I really come into contact with these chemicals? Actually, the answer is yes, probably every single day. Let's explore some common places PFAS hide in your everyday life. First up, your kitchen. Non-stick cookware is coated with Teflon, a type of PFAS. It's the safer, long-chain variety, meaning the molecules are too big to easily enter your bloodstream, but it can still release harmful fumes if overheated. Next, food packaging. Ever notice grease and oil never soak through your fast food wrappers or popcorn bags? Short-chain PFAs, like C8E, also called PFOA, and Gen X, give these wrappers their grease-resistant properties. But these short-chain molecules are smaller, easier for your body to absorb, and more dangerous. Then there's clothing, cosmetics, and household cleaners. Waterproof jackets, boots, mascara, lipstick, even stain-resistant furniture treatments. They're all likely made using PFAS. We use them because they're convenient, but they also leave traces behind in our bodies and the environment. Finally, one of the most surprising places you'll find PFAS is firefighting foam. Airports and military bases regularly use it to quickly extinguish dangerous fires. While effective at stopping flames, it also easily seeps into the ground, contaminating local water supplies. 
This wide use means we're exposed almost everywhere we turn, especially to those short-chain PFAS, C8, GNAX, which are most harmful since they linger in our bodies and build up over time. Understanding these everyday sources is the first step towards protecting yourself and the environment. So, we have seen that PFAS are everywhere, but what exactly are they doing to our health? Scientists have been studying these chemicals for years and the results are serious. Let's start with cancer. Studies show clear connections between PFAS, especially the short-chain ones like C8, and increased risks of testicular and kidney cancers. These cancers become more likely as PFAS build up in your body. Next is your immune system. Exposure to PFAS can weaken your body's defense against infections and even reduce how effective vaccines are, meaning you could get sicker more often and have trouble fighting illnesses. PFAS also interfere with hormones. This can lead to serious developmental issues during pregnancy, affecting a baby's growth, birth weight, and even long-term development. Children exposed early in life often face increased risks of developmental delays. And your liver. PFAS chemicals have been directly linked to liver damage and higher cholesterol levels, increasing your risk of heart disease. Even small amounts can trigger noticeable changes in your body's health. The bottom line is this. The more PFAS that build up in your body, the greater the risk to your health. These chemicals are silent, but their effects aren't. But it's not just our bodies at risk. PFAS are causing huge environmental problems too. Because these forever chemicals never break down naturally, once they're released into our environment, they remain there permanently. Rain, rivers, lakes, even oceans now contain traces of PFAS. These chemicals evaporate with water, get carried by clouds and fall as rain, spreading pollution to even remote parts of the world. And here's the big issue, bioaccumulation. Simply put, tiny amounts of PFAS build up over time in soil, water, animals, and eventually in us. Small exposure today means larger health threats tomorrow. A real life example is Parkersburg, West Virginia, near one of DuPont's factories. Residents discovered these chemicals in their drinking water after livestock started getting sick. Eventually, researchers linked the contamination directly to serious illnesses in the local community. And wildlife isn't safe either. Animals far away from factories, polar bears in the Arctic, fish in pristine rivers, birds on isolated islands are all contaminated with PFAS. This global spread reveals just how permanent and pervasive these chemicals truly are. Understanding these impacts is essential because protecting our environment means protecting ourselves. With all these health and environmental impacts clearly documented, you might wonder, why are PFAS still everywhere? The answer lies partly in delayed regulations and strong corporate pushback. For decades, regulations have moved slowly. Despite evidence of harm emerging as early as the 70s and 80s, clear limits on PFAS only recently arrived. In fact, the US Environmental Protection Agency only set strict guidelines for these chemicals in drinking water in 2024. But setting these guidelines was a long battle. Big chemical manufacturers resisted stricter rules because removing PFAS completely means changing manufacturing processes and investing significant money. Internal documents show companies knew the risks but chose profits over transparency, delaying regulations and keeping consumers in the dark. But here's the good news. There are simple, practical steps you can take right now to reduce your exposure to PFAS. First, use your non-stick pans safely. Never heat them above medium heat, about 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or roughly 200 degrees Celsius. This prevents harmful fumes from being released. And if your pan's scratched or damaged, replace it immediately. Next, limit how often you eat food wrapped in grease-resistant packaging. 
like fast food wrappers, pizza boxes or microwave popcorn bags. When possible, choose fresh, unpackaged foods and reheat leftovers in glass or ceramic dishes instead. And importantly, filter your drinking water. Effective filtration methods include reverse osmosis and activated carbon filters. These can significantly reduce PFAS levels, protecting your health daily. And finally, new technologies are emerging to help capture and filter PFAS right at factories before it ever reaches the environment. These innovative filters trap the chemicals, preventing contamination from the start. These actions might seem small, but together they add up, making your home, your community and our planet safe. While the challenge of PFAS is serious, we have real reasons to be hopeful. Right now, scientists around the world are developing amazing technologies to capture and remove these chemicals from our environment. Companies like Purifinity are creating advanced filters that can trap PFAS at factories, stopping pollution before it starts. At the same time, researchers are actively exploring safer, biodegradable alternatives to replace harmful PFAS in everyday products. Remember, we've successfully faced dangerous chemicals in the past. Think asbestos, lead and CFCs. Each time, public awareness and collective action brought real change. We can do it again with PFAS. Before we wrap up, let's quickly summarize what we've covered today. PFAs are widespread, persistent and accumulate in our bodies and environment. Proven health risks include cancers, weakened immune systems and hormonal disruptions. You can reduce exposure through safer food choices, proper use of cookware and effective water filtration. And finally, support policy changes to encourage the use of safer, PFAS-free chemicals. Now it's your turn. Check your local water supply for PFAS contamination Speak out, contact policymakers, and advocate for stronger, clearer PFAS regulations. And share this information, spread awareness, and help others stay safe. Everything we've shared today comes from credible, publicly available research, linked clearly in the description below. Together, our actions make a difference. Let's make sure we tackle PFAS, protect our health, and safeguard our environment.